Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars and you want to be more pro-like, let's take a look at your backswing. What the pros do really well is they get their lead shoulder going down and around. Where recreational players go off is they get their lead shoulder going up and away. So you ready to get more pro-like? Let's do it. So what do the pros do really well in their backswing? They get their lead shoulder going down and around. All right, so the around bit is the rotation. All right, the down bit is the lead shoulder going down. All right, so that helps you stay in your golf posture. All right, we have to be down here because the ball's down there. Where recreational players go off is they get level, so they go up and away. All right, so they don't go down and around, they go up and away from the ball. All right, and that's just a lateral shift. And when this happens, you're dead. All right, most likely weak right slice top shot all day long. So if you want to be more pro-like, focus on your shoulder line. Make sure it goes down and then around. All right, another way to think about it is your back shoulder. Make it disappear. All right, so it's this shoulder, the whole shoulder line. Make this one disappear. All right, there it is, disappearing. Versus this shoulder going this way. All right, that's what I see. I see players trying to get behind the ball, so this shoulder goes that away. Versus going that away. Right, so that's a big difference, and we want to have a shoulder line that's down. Now, if you're tight in your mid-back, all right, it's going to be a challenge for you to create a lot of side bend. So the down part is actually just side bend. All right, so if I turn around here, there it is. It's just side bend. If you're tight in your mid-back, you may have a little less side bend, but try to get as much as humanly possible because it's going to really help you in your golf swing. All right, so a great exercise is just take your hands and put them real close together like this and put your elbows against your side. Get into your golf posture. All right, so this really isolates the torso if you really struggle with rotation. Now from here, focus on the shoulder line going down. All right, you can focus on the front shoulder going down or the back shoulder disappearing. All right, and then mimic that on the other side. All right, I have a lot more rotation on this side with my mid back, I'm considering going lefty. <laughs> this side is really tight, so I gotta keep working it over and over to keep it mobile. All right, so this is a really great exercise or a pre-round warm-up. All right, so keep your head centered as possible. Stay in your golf posture and just rotate. You can see what's happening to my hip line too. All right, it's just reacting to the the shoulder line, all right, so it's creating a really nice angle with the hip line. All right, so where players go off with their hip line, when their shoulder line goes up and away, they tend to get stacked up on the trail leg versus having this shoulder disappear or have this shoulder go down, whatever cue works for you, getting the shoulder line down creates a really good angle with the hip. All right, so we're loading into the ground properly with our pressure. If we're stacked and we're moving our, we're shifting with our shoulder line too level and we're shifting into our backswing, we're not creating a good relationship with the ground.